मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज कल्पे संजय मोरे माय नेम इज कैसे श्याम नागरे टुडे वी आर एक्सप्लेनिंग यू अबाउट द वेरियस स्टेप्स ऑफ स्पेशन प्रिपरेशन स्टेप इन स्पेशन प्रिपरेशन इज सैम्पलिंग सिलेक्शन ऑफ स्पेसिमन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेप्स फॉर द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ स्पेसिमन द स्पेसिमन सैम्पल शुड बी प्रॉपरली सिलेक्टेड बिकॉज इट्स कैरेक्टराइज ऑफ अ मटेरियल ऑल्सो इट शुड फुलफिल द पर्पज ऑफ द एग्जामिनेशन फॉर ओवर वी सिलेक्ट थ्री थ्री सैम्पल्स फर्स्ट इज एल्युमिनियम सैम्पल सेकेंड इज माइल स्टील सैम्पल एंड थर्ड इज ब्रास सैम्पल ऑल स्पेसिमन इनिशियली आर वेरी लॉन्ग इन साइज फॉर कटिंग दिस सच अ मटेरियल्स वी यूज एब्रेसिव व्हील कट ऑफ व्हील इज यूज इट इज अ थीन डिस इम्प्रेग्नेटेड विद द सुटेबल हार्ड एब्रेसिव लाइक एम्बेरी एंड डायमंड डस्ट जनरली द लेंथ ऑफ दिस स्पेसिमन इज वन पॉइंट फाइव टू टू पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर एंड द शेप ऑफ दिस स्पेसिमन इज राउंड और स्क्वेयर सिलेक्शन एज यूर एज यूर ओन रिक्वायरमेंट थ्री स्पेसिमन we have selected aluminum specimen the next step in specimen preparation after sampling is polishing first is rough polishing also known by dry and wet method of polishing in this method top and bottom surfaces of the specimen are made flat and parallel by using machining and filing methods the surface under examination is made plain using a motor driver emery bed during this process The specimen gets heated and should be frequently dipped into the cold water. Excessive pressure should not be applied on the grinder and also during hand grinding operation because it leads to formation of deep seeds scratches which are difficult to remove. If the specimen is heated it leads to some microstructure changes due to temperature involvement for metal having low temperature and melting point. We will proceed further for grinding. surface finish after grinding there are two types of rough polishing first is dry method and second is wet method we use here the wet dry method in dry method we use five samples of emery paper so the samples numbers are 10 20 30 40 and 50 so it is held that you you held your specimen in your left hand and slowly move on this emery paper back and front in this in this type of motion so uh, everyone ensures that uh, the scratches introduced during the stage of the polishing should be perpendicular to the scratches obtained from the left hand grinder if our left hand grinder is in this direction so then we have to polish this surface in that direction so our uh, scratches will be in the perpendicular direction then further uh, scratch it on a 20 uh, uh, mm paper then 30 mm paper then 40 mm paper and then 50 mm paper in this method to get superior surface finish here the surface finish is obtained from obtained from uh, emery paper the uh, next method is the fine polishing it is the final step of the polishing process in this method the scratches introduced by 0000 paper or 600 number of a paper is completely removed and the specimen surface becomes a surface free the finally obtained surface is called as the mirror surface finish and the corresponding polishing method is a lapping this this machine we, uh, is lapping machine In the lapping method, uh, the rotating disc. This is the rotating disc. Is covered with the special cloth is used. Uh, abrasive particles suspended in the water and added on this cloth. Uh, abrasive particles. Abrasive particles are suspended in the water and added to this cloth. Uh, this is the abrasive particles. Uh, here, abrasive particles we use is brass soap for non-ferrous alloy. Uh, this is uh, this is our this is specimen of our uh, aluminium and it is a type of a non-ferrous. we will further process our operation
switching is control corrosion of grain boundaries to have the clear view in the optical microscope of the macrostructure. So, for aluminium, we will use this each end. It consists of 2 ml HCl and 5 ml HNO3 and distilled water 100 ml. So, we will further proceed. We will further pro proceed by pouring each end into this and the method will be followed by rubbing. The each specimen look like this. The specimen after reaching is water washed and then air dried and the specimen preparation is done. After, after cold mounting the specimen look like this. Aluminum specimen we are not going to do cold mounting.